Welcome to the Division II Agent Briefing, Dark Zones and Conflict. Seven months after the virus outbreak, Washington, D.C. is on the brink of collapse, threatening the fate of the entire country. You, agents of the Division, are the last line of defense. At launch, the Division II will offer a realistic and immersive experience including an accessible range of online multiplayer activities across three new Dark Zones and Conflict, our organized PvP modes. After attempts to eradicate the virus failed, quarantined areas quickly formed and an insufficiently tested chemical was deployed, DC-62. The results were devastating. DC-62 proved to be just as lethal and left a path of desolation across concentrated areas of the city. Dark Zone, the Division's intense mix of PvP and PvE is returning. The Dark Zone is a unique environment filled with rewards, where anything can happen and no one can be trusted. Agents will now be able to access three different Dark Zones, each with its own distinct environment, landmarks, and challenges, and with up to 12 players sharing the same zone. The three different Dark Zones host a wide variety of environments and gameplay, providing players with a renewed experience and different challenges every time they play. The walled-off Dark Zones have remained untouched by scavengers, leaving these areas filled with high-level equipment. But some of these items are toxic and will need to be extracted before they can be used. Agents can obtain equipment by clearing landmarks, taking down enemy factions, or securing supply drops, but also by embracing new ways to play as they turn against other agents. This is classified as going rogue. Rogue agents can now lockpick supply crates, steal other agents' contaminated gear before extraction, and hack SHD terminals to obtain valuable resources. But some still prefer a more radical approach, at the risk of becoming a target of their own. There are now three different rogue statuses that present players with a variety of ways to combat other agents in the Dark Zones, whenever they choose. Dark Zones are an experience where players need to balance risk with reward. They are normalized environments where all players have the chance to succeed. Automated turrets guard the entry points and protect newcomers from predatory rogue agents and enemies. This gives players the freedom to engage in their very own playstyle without being overpowered by veteran agents. While Dark Zones remain an accessible challenge, Occupied Dark Zones, our most brutal version of the Dark Zone, will also be available at launch. With no rules to keep anyone safe and higher rewards, this will be a true contest for survival of the fittest. Conflict, our organized PvP experience for the Division 2, will also be available at launch. Conflict modes pitch a team of four SHD agents against a team of four rogue agents across domination and skirmish game modes in three new maps located outside of the main story. These modes feature their own progression system, granting rewards that players can bring back in the main open world of the Division 2. In domination, teams battle for control of three capture zones. Stay in the zone with your team or perform special actions to keep scoring and deny the zone to the opposing team, using your skills and agent toolbox wisely. In Skirmish, each team aims at reducing the opposing team reinforcement to zero. This mode supports intense and highly tactical engagements where communication is the key to victory when aiming for the top of the leaderboard. The Division 2's Conflict and Dark Zones experience will continue to evolve as part of our commitment to post-launch, and players can look forward to new areas and new modes in the coming months. You will decide how you will want to achieve your mission, as a team or standing alone. Agents, welcome to the Division 2.